All right, man, dash valves. We've all had them go out. Well, if you've been trucking for a while, you have. They start leaking. The seals start leaking around here. And um, anyway, this is a Peterbilt, a 579, and mine starts leaking. So first thing I do, it's not bad. I mean, it's just, you know, it just takes a little bit longer for it to reset when I push it in. You know, it just hisses for a minute. It's But it's you know, steadily getting worse little by little each day. So I go on Amazon. I'm going to be clever. And order one. This is from Amazon, and this is the one I've already taken out. This is Peterbilt. This is thirty-five bucks. This is three hundred dollars. Well, it got to leaking so bad, and I hadn't gotten home, and I was really having a hard time getting the brakes released. So I said, "Screw it!" I just went to the nearest Peterbilt, bought this piece. This is the old one. Um, walked out to my truck and put it on. Three hundred dollars later, it fixed the problem. Meanwhile, I was waiting on this one from Amazon when it came in, when I finally got home to get it. I mean, it's the wrong one, but this is an MV3, which is what it calls for. But man, it, there's so many different variations of these. All I'm saying is this probably would work, would work. but you see the difference is my Pete has the uh, push-pull pins or the push-pull for the airlines. This one has uh, the quarter inch threaded. Um, if I'd have been trying to change this on the side of the road, I'd have been screwed. Uh, what else is different? All oh, the plates different. This front plate is different for the Pete than the one I ordered. Although this one said it fits Peterbilt, Internet, it fits a bunch of them. It's an MV3. Um, this plate can be taken off and changed, I think, without all the springs and everything popping out. Uh, they're both, they feel the same, man. They're about the same weight. They have a front metal panel. This is plastic. That's plastic. This is Bendix. This is $300. This is made in China. I don't know how the internals are, how long it will last, but it was $35. So all I'm saying, man, if you're going to order a part off Amazon, something especially, you know, that it's kind of particular on how it mounts, I would have the old part in my hand and compare pictures even though that don't always work, but it's better than what I did. I just ordered one that said fits Peterbilt, and it was the right part number, the MV3. But as you can see, they're different. And on the side of the road, if I'd have been changing this, you know, in the, in the truck stop parking lot, I never would have got it to work. I'd have had to put the old one back on or jumped on my little scooter and rode over to Peterbilt and paid $300 anyway. But anyway, man, lesson learned. Just letting you guys know. Um, it's best to have the parts in hand if you're shopping off Amazon or eBay, just so you can really compare, not just go by part numbers.